Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I'm going to talk about how to fix a Roblox 279 error failed to connect that is happening for many users right now then how we can fix this app so let me directly get into a step so the first one is all about just go over here search for the CMD and click on run as administrator and go for yes now go over here and you have to type IP config put a space slash flush dns and press enter that's going to take you to this now once you're done with this one you have to close this and directly navigate to the settings click on the settings now from here navigate to the network and internet go over here for the network and internet now from here navigate to the vpn so if you don't ha have or if you're not connected to any vpn just try using a new vpn you can connect on add vpn connect a vpn and you have to check but if you're already on the VPN, then you just need to turn off the VPN. Then you have to try launching the Roblox once again, and you have to check whether that's going to fix the issue or not. Still, if you're having this, go to apps, click on install apps. Now from here, what you need to do is just find the Roblox. You have to search here for the Roblox at the top. Search for the Roblox. Now from here, you can see we have a Roblox player. So click on this three dot menu and go for uninstall. And once uninstalling is done, you have to Go back to the google chrome find the google chrome here we can search here for the roblox and try downloading the roblox from here you can download the roblox and you can install it and you can check sometime downloading this roblox may not be fixing the issue if that is the case you can try downloading the roblox from the microsoft store the microsoft store version of the roblox did work it for me last time when i had error you can just go over here search for the roblox and find the roblox and you can get into this and you can check that might work as well and this is what you have to do still if you're having the trouble the last step is all about reset your router and you have to check that sometimes the issue might be with the routers so make sure that you have to reset it or you can restart it and both can be done and i hope this quick video is helpful hi that's it bye